Hey everyone, Asko and R here. I have another special guest here, uh, Rick Davis. Uh, hey Rick, how are you? Doing well. Th thanks, Aris. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Uh, Rick, let's just get started right away. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, even prior to the training, what you've been doing and, uh, and what's your experience uh, either in the corporate or business world? So let's get to know you a little, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, yeah, I've, I've always been involved some, somehow, some way in sales. Um, actually, my, my passion was in the, uh, I was a, a firefighter paramedic for about 10 or 15 years. Um, you get to the point where you get, you get up in age and it, it, those 24 hour shifts get to wear on you a little bit. Um, you don't recover as well. So, uh, while I was there, um, back in the nineties, back in the heyday, of course, when everybody was flipping real estate, I got involved in that and I actually replaced my income, uh, as a paramedic doing that and went into that full time. And of course we all know what happened with that. Yeah. Um, so for the past uh, 10 years, I've been in the car business. Uh, I started in sales, worked my way up to sales management, uh, worked into the finance end of it, doing the financing. Um, and then uh, in the last six months, I was approached by another company that does power sports up here, snowmobiles, boats, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, made me, they made me a good offer to, to take over their sales and finance end of it. And unfortunately, after about three months, um, they, they, they pulled the plug. They just said, well, we're not, we're not making it anymore. So uh, I think it was two days before Thanksgiving or wow. the Friday before Thanksgiving, uh, the general manager just came in and said, yeah, that's we're we're shutting the doors. Uh, so luckily the company or your department only? No, the, the company. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I, we saw signs, um, yeah. you know, you can, you can see signs, but anyway, fortunately, uh, about a week or two before that, I, you know, I, I started looking around because I did see the signs that, you know, st stuff's going to happen here. Sure. And uh, not sure how. I think it was a Craigslist ad that I stumbled across of yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds interesting. I've always been in, intrigued in business finance and, of course, real estate and you know, automobile and all that. So I thought, well, that, that's kind of neat. And I did do uh, my due diligence and I, you know, I found some of your YouTube videos and uh, it sounded intriguing. So I, uh, I jumped in. All right, great. So what um, stood out? I'm, I'm sure when you did, when you were doing your due diligence, there are a lot of home-based businesses or businesses that you can be starting, especially with your experience, like you've been in, in the world of business, mm -hmm. from different uh, point of views for a long, long time. What made this industry more attractive than the others that maybe you, you looked into? I've always been in, in, involved or um, interested in finance, um, either commercial finance or real estate finance. Um, to me, it's just a no brainer. It's just, it's, you're, you're brokering a deal. Um, you've got no overhead, literally, you know, just a computer and maybe some copy paper <laughs> yeah. uh, and you can, you can do business all over the country. You know, your lenders are, uh, you know, we've got lenders in New York, we've got lenders in Utah. Um, my customers are in Texas, in Florida. So with literally just a, a cell phone and a computer, um, you can broker deals with, you know, very little startup and very little overhead. Um, so that, that's what kind of intrigued me. I, I, I like the freedom. I want the freedom to, you know, work my own hours, although I'm, you know, I'm doing it now full time, just like a regular job. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, my, my fiance and I, she's from Southern Florida. She's from like Naples. And like I told you earlier, she's got two kids still in high school. So our, our ambition is once those kids graduate high school up here, uh, we're, we're going to move down to Florida. Oh, okay. Uh, she wants to be back down there. She's a little younger than I am, but I'm looking at, well, you know, yeah, I can pick up and start all over in the car business down there, but I'd really have something where I can just pick up my computer and my cell phone mm -hmm. and, and work from wherever I, wherever I am. I think this industry is a true definition of work from home. Mm -hmm. uh, no contingencies, just like you said, you can literally be from be in any state. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, for that matter, we do have, as you might know, members even overseas who's doing yeah. this in the United States. So it doesn't really matter what state you're in and what state you're targeting. Your clients are all over the place and they will be. 
Same right. thing with the lenders. Uh, a lot of people think that all the lenders are in New York City. That's far from the truth. Right. Uh, there are all over the place as well, and in the mid United States, in California, Miami, New York City. That's one of those uh, you know unique um, advantages that we have, like to, you know uh, location independence, right. uh, time independence. You can you decide to do this full time. You transition pretty fast, right? How long did it take you to jump in full time? <clears throat> Well, I, I kind of had a decision made for me. Like I said, um, the company I was working for went under. And yeah. luckily, like I said, a week or two before, I'd been kind of researching your company and doing the whole MCA business. So uh, um, I was kind of forced forced into doing it full time, which is good. I mean, that's, you know, a lot of times that's what they say. If you try to do it part time, you just kind of dabble in it and you get you get mediocre success. But um you know, like I said, if you cut the ties to whatever, whatever your security is and, and you jump in, we've got yeah. no, no choice now to make it work. No so. choice to, yeah, exactly. Uh, and you uh, found success uh, based on what you shared with me the other day on Messenger. So can we talk a little bit about that? I think you at this point closed two deals. Yeah, I closed one uh, SLOC deal. Uh -huh. and that was my first actual deal uh, last two weeks ago, I guess. And last Friday, I closed my first MCA deal. Um, so yeah, it's kind of exciting. It wasn't a huge deal, but uh, it's, you know, it, it, you know, I always said, just, just show me that, that I can do it. Show me that wow. it can be done and show me that I can do it. And, um, you know, that kind of opens the door for you. So I think that's so for a lot of people, they see the success stories of others, but um, um, until they get that little or big, doesn't matter, that, that taste of success themselves. Right. Like, boom, you're fully plugged in because now you see on your end for your family, from your bank account, what it can do uh, and kind of transforms. That's why it's, it's a big right. deal to close your first deal uh, really fast so you can see if you can get that taste of, of um, success and jump right in. Uh, so the first deal was a, uh, a line of credit, on secure line of credit. How much did you uh, get, get for your client? Uh, they ended up getting about $25,000, uh, okay. small line, but, uh, that was through Toro, through Matt, Red yeah. Toro. Um, and your commission was two points on that. Two points on that. So. Well, it was a little over that. It was about 600, 660 something dollars. All right. 660 on the commission. And how big was the MCA? The MCA, he was actually approved for 150,000. Wow. But okay. uh, he only wanted it was a very clean file. He only wanted 50, 50,000 at this time. He's a contractor in Texas. So he's always kind of rolling over money, um, sure. buying supplies and then doing the job and paying it off. So he'll be back. Uh, he's got a $150,000 approval now through, uh, through this lender Yeah, back at any time and, and get more money. So, which I think you will. So, and I, uh, made 12 points on that. So about $6,000. That's amazing points. Yeah. Uh, so uh, as you might know, a lot of people in this industry, they sell with two points, four points and things mm -hmm. like that, especially if they're working for someone else. And there are some players, so-called lenders out there who are giving right. uh, these people four points because they don't know how much they should be paid. Mm -hmm. So 12 points is pretty good. Uh, it's actually not that of a small deal. $6,000. Right. No, I, I was happy. Um, yeah. And, you and know, knowing that you have a client for, for good, now he's going to come back, especially if he's doing that cycling. A lot right. of construction companies do that. So he's going to come back for more and more uh, for sure. So right. you got approved for 150,000. That, that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Anything good on the pipeline that you've, I know you've been working hard on it. Um, anything that you were anticipating happening? Uh, yeah, I've got, month? I've got a few other apps out. Um, talk to people every day. Um, your, you know, your instruction as far as duck soup and making connections that way. I, I, I religiously every day set up my duck soup to do 200 connections every day. Mm -hmm. From that, I'll get uh, or connection requests. From that, I'll probably get 30 or 40 people that'll connect with me. Then I send them up to follow up uh, mm -hmm. text or, or or message. Message, yeah. And then uh, from that, I'll I'll get, you know three, four, five, six people a day interest. Some are a lot of lines of credit, but a lot, you know, with them MCA also. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll take them all like here's a percentage of them will turn into bigger deals. Just like what happened. You started with a smaller one, then uh, that led, led to a bigger deal. 
Um, so since how long ago have you joined the Blueprint program, Rick? Uh, I officially joined it. It was right at, right in the beginning of December, uh, like the first, maybe maybe the last of November, beginning of December. I don't remember. I, I remember seeing December, but I honestly didn't check the yeah. actual date. But it could be the beginning. So it's but, um, less, less than a month at this point, either way. Yeah, and then actually, I didn't really. Well, I, I started watching the videos and all, and then my fiance and I actually had a vacation planned before okay. everything happened. We went down to Florida again for. Uh, we were there for a week. So December 4th through December 11th, we were down there. So I actually didn't jump in full time until like December 12th. Um, so, okay. so it's been two, two and a half weeks then. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. And you're not from this industry. You just came totally like based on yep. your due diligence and came in and started applying it. Uh, what was for someone who was because of, as you might have noticed in my YouTube channel, there are a lot of people who've been following my content and they're, um, they're trying to figure out if this is a good investment or not. What, what would you say from, from your experience specifically? What, what, has, what has changed and uh, do, you, do you think it was a good investment to join? Well, yeah, absolutely. I, I you know, 10 times, make 10 times my investment back with the first deal. So, um, but no, it's, it's a, it, uh, what I liked about you and there's, there's other, obviously other people out there doing MCA Mm -hmm. education or whatever but what i liked about your course is it was all laid out uh your videos are very you know i i'm one of the most computer illiterate people there are um i don't know anything about duck soup or setting up but um you walked you know you, you walk your videos walk through it with the education uh of how to do it how to get it set up um why you're doing it what to do once you do make a connection request um, my next step now, I think I told you yesterday is that I did get my MailChimp set up mm -hmm. and I've got over 1,350 connections now just wow. in the last few weeks yeah. in, uh, on LinkedIn. So my, again, now I have to educate myself on how to get those into my MailChimp account so I can start a mail, uh, email campaign with them. And that's just one strategy that you're applying. Obviously, we have a ton of other strategies that you can utilize, but you chose to go through the LinkedIn one, which uh, mm -hmm. paid off in a short amount of time. Yep. Um, I, I think um, many people also do enjoy our community, right? So uh, the Bitcoin yeah. we ended up building with all the members. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? The, the yeah, the Facebook yeah. community. Facebook, sorry. The Facebook community is great. Um, I have reached out to a couple members, uh, Dan in, in San Diego. He was, I had a question about something or he posted something about what he was doing and I had a question. He was uh, quick to respond and, you know, more than open. Uh, I know Jacqueline posts a lot of stuff and she's very helpful, but um, yeah, it's very easy. Uh, everybody's in it, you know, to help everybody else. Uh, now that I've had some marginal success, I'm going to get more involved in the community. And like I said, not that I'm a, a professional at it yet, but um, anything that, that I can do to help or suggest or um, one thing I, I, I wanted to mention that the lenders are more than, than happy to jump in on these phone calls and help you close these deals. Both Matt at Toro and Yossi over at Wall Funding. Um, I told them straight up, these are my first deals. I don't know. You know, I can... I can close a car deal, but I've never <laughs> closed a business owner on, on financing. So they were more than happy to jump in on conference calls with my merchant. Uh, I, I just sat and listened to how they talked to them. And, and uh, uh, even over at wall funding, we got uh, the owner on, on the line. Uh, so they're very, they're very open. You don't, don't think you have to know everything yeah. uh, to get started. Just, just get started. Um, follow the, follow the videos, get your LinkedIn, get your, you know, get your duck soup. Now uh, that's probably the easiest thing because duck soup automatically, you know, while you're sleeping, it can, it can send out 200 connection. Yeah. Requests. You can automatically do it. And based on your experience with the lenders, um, that's really not like that outside. Just so you know, that's because we're leveraging our size with these lenders. So right. Negotiate with them because they're direct lenders, but I tell them, listen, we have over 300 ISOs here so far, and we're, we're, we're going to go over a thousand people. If, you know, we're going to keep recommending you, I want my people to get special treatment. That's right. why we're getting the owners on the phone and they're jumping on the phone and helping out because they're valuing what we're putting on the table. 
um, like the commissions that you're getting paid, they're usually higher than the average and things like that because they're seeing that uh, not only they're having access to a very trained group of individuals, uh, unlike someone out there who do some Google search and they should decide to be an ISO and they're expecting their lender to train them. Lender's mm -hmm. job is not to train you, uh, but in this case, they jump on the phone and help you out with the deal because they see that, well, first of all, you, you're the real deal, right? You're, try, you're making things happen. You're bringing them uh, high quality deals and things like that. And you're very trained on in the industry, although you've been using it only for two weeks, right? So all of that will, will, will accumulate and we're going to have more, more people like that, more owners. And at that level, the companies, the lending companies to, to do a lot of handholding with our newer members. That's uh, definitely part of my goals in the next couple of months to, mm -hmm. to add to that. Um, um, any last thoughts? I, I don't want to keep you long. I know you're busy, uh, but uh, anything that I haven't mentioned, anything I can do for you or anything for someone who's watching it? No, just like I said, it's uh, your, your program is very well laid out. Um, I didn't have any experience at all. I just went through and followed, followed the program step by step, did what you said to do, got everything set up. Um, one thing uh, you mentioned about MCA, what what, do you, what are the one things you like? And uh, one of the things you mentioned in the beginning was you can get paid very, very quickly. Um, and literally that that deal I did on Friday, I, ta I first talked to that merchant on Wednesday evening, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. Um, sent him out the application. He got his stuff back late Wednesday. It was too late to get anything into the... Uh, to the lenders. Mm -hmm. uh, so I sent it in Wednesday night and Thursday morning, I actually heard back from a couple of them. He actually got three different offers. Wow. Uh, we took the best one. Uh, and we literally closed that deal on Friday afternoon. So in less than 48 hours from my first contact with the merchant. That you didn't know prior. That, I didn't know. I didn't know. He, it was a, it was a LinkedIn. It was a duck soup LinkedIn yeah. connection who, who, uh, started asking questions and, you know, we emailed back and forth a little bit and then we finally got on a phone call and uh, he was eager. He, you know, he got me his paperwork ASAP. As soon as I asked for something, he got it. And we got everything in, like I said, and, and Friday afternoon he got it funded. So less than four. Now this particular lender pays every Friday, so I won't get paid until, you know, a week later, but um, literally in less than 48 hours, uh, the deal was done. Uh, as opposed to, you know, real estate finance or anything else where you can, what you can oh, go, yeah, go three yeah. months before you get a payday. Yeah. Um, so these, these paydays happen very quickly. Um, all you got to do is find the right merchant and, uh, you know, within 48 hours you can, you can get paid. Yeah. Literally 48 hours. There's no hype in that guy's like he went from not knowing anyone, no clue, just through LinkedIn, not even meeting them in person to putting money in their bank account in 48 hours. So that we do truly mean that mm -hmm. it can happen. And I mean, the pay turnaround, uh, you know, you're going to get paid what tomorrow then? Yes. Yeah. Knock on wood. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's another thing I like about this business. Like you said, I've never, I never met the guy in person. He's in Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, had, like I said, some emails and phone calls with him. This particular lenders in, in New York. Yeah. Small, town of 2000 people in Northern Wisconsin. And I put the, put the deal together without even leaving my quote home office. Um, so that, that's, that's what I like about this, this business. And Rick, one, one of the questions that I get, I, I got this recently on my YouTube channel, someone brought up. Um, so how do we build credibility with someone, especially starting out? So I think you're the best person to answer that because you've been actively doing this for two weeks and, you got someone approved for $150,000 and they trusted you and took that money and you did a line of credit. So is that a um, legitimate question to be concerned about? Like uh, your credibility, your experience and things like that. What do you think about that? Um, to an extent, um, like I said, I, I didn't know anything about the business two weeks ago or, or three weeks ago. Um, I learned through your, your uh, course. Um, but a big thing to help with the credibility is to get that lender on the phone. Um, yeah. In the beginning, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't know any, you know, I don't know enough to answer that, that person with that merchant's questions. He had some questions that I, I didn't know. I said, Hey, I'll tell you what, let me call, let me call my underwriter. Let me call my lender and let's get them on the phone too. And you can, they can get all, all your questions answered. 
that these lenders were more than happy to jump on a phone call, a conference call. He got all this, you know, then it, then it takes, it takes the onus off me trying to prove who I am and, and, and my quote credibility. Absolutely. You don't want to take it on yourself. That's why, I mean, we have the entire group and the lenders and things like that. You're not going to learn everything in two weeks, right? What we're teaching is uh, the business, how to set it up, how to run it, how to get leads and how to close them. You've done that part. But of course, naturally, the merchant had additional questions. They're right. going to put money in their bank accounts and they don't want to know certain things. Then, then, you know, you can bring down the right or the owner on the phone because that's what they do every day. <laughs> they right. do fun deals every, every day. They go through the files every day and they help you out and you get paid your 12 points. So, uh, and they get paid whatever they get paid and everyone in the client is happy because they're working with professionals who can actually make things happen. You're not promising things that you can't deliver. I think it's overall a win-win-win situation for everyone. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Rick, uh, with that, thank you so much for uh, you know spending time with me today. Appreciate your presence and appreciate uh, having you as a member in the, in the community. Um, uh, thanks so much. It's my pleasure and thanks for all you do, Oz. Uh, my pleasure, take care now. Okay. Bye-bye. Happy holidays. You too, thank you.